All right, so what we've got today is a snow and neely axe. So, um, or hatchet. So this is a Hudson's Bay design. And go ahead and get our look at it. Of course, the classic flat uh, across the bottom of the pole, Hudson's Bay design, drop uh, blade, pretty, pretty classic. I like their handles, get a good finish, especially if you go ahead and do a little bit of after work on them, maybe sand them, get some of the uh, finish off or what have you. So I like all of that. Um, Snow and Neely's, as a lot of you probably know, are uh, made in the USA, in Maine. And uh, I believe they're actually made by the Amish. I find that kind of cool. I've got a lot of uh, respect for the Amish. They're not hand forged, but the great care is taking taken with the steel and uh, as far as I know it's uh, very little problems with the steel very little chipping and it's known for being extremely tough um, this is going to be the first one that I've had for a little while and uh, that I've really used I've uh, of course played around with some of the uh, their other ones but this is kind of my my first real go at it um, and I've been super happy with it. As you can see, kind of finished the handle out nicely. Um, and uh, there's one thing that people kind of go, well, I'll touch on that afterwards. Let's go ahead and get some dimensions and I'll show you a closer view of it. So we're looking at about a 23 inch handle. Got that backwards for anybody who wants to look at it. But a uh, 23 inch handle, the uh, blade width is about uh, three and five eighth. Got a head width of about seven eighth of an inch. Got a pull width, it's gonna be about the same, probably be just about uh, seven eighth. Okay, so uh, go ahead and move in closer with the camera and I'll give you a closer view here. The fit and the finish. So you can see fairly thin blade. They get pretty tight handles. Sometimes you'll see just a little bit of a, a maybe right in the front and right in the back, but uh, they're, they're known for keeping really tight heads, so I don't really worry about that very much. And as you can see, this one right here is pretty tight. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on and go ahead and do a little bit of limbing on this hackberry. Just down this hackberry, check out that video. That was a council tool, another American made ax, a council tool uh, jersey. And uh, you heard a little bit of hard breathing. I just got over what I call the Grinch flu uh, after Christmas, but uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, it does come, also it does come, their leather sheaths are a little bit distressed leather. Um, again, made in the USA and very good quality and I like them. Got the snap and uh, once again, always a concern with the snap that they'll wear out. These are pretty durable, good quality sheaths. So what I'm gonna do first off is go ahead and just take this down. I don't know if I need to take it completely off, but I'll, it'll give you a feel for what we're looking at. And now might not be a bad time to go ahead and talk about the design just a little bit before I get right into it. So, <clears throat> and I want to do a video kind of on, on check out for future videos because <clears throat> the difference between like a flatter grind, and when I mean the grind, I don't mean the actual grind or the bevel, but I mean like from top to bottom. So you can see this one right here has got kind of a half moon shape there. And that does play a little bit of a role. And when I get to doing a video on it, check, check that out on what some of the differences and nuances that that can create when you're chopping. But anyways, let me go ahead and get in here and uh, you can get a feeling for it. Got into the dirt a little bit there. I do not like to do that. All right, as you can see, very clean cutting. Hackberry is not the hardest 
wood in the world, but it's definitely not soft. And you can see pretty smooth cuts, pretty short work of it. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of limbing here and you'll get a feeling for it. Jump around this other side, you can kind of so you can see that fairly thin blade on there, even with this up in the ear bouncing around. I'm pretty happy with that. And when I was, I really had very little sticking. So sometimes if you're dealing with a, you know, softer or medium type wood, uh, if you've got that thin blade, you might get a little bit of sticking and I'm really not getting any of that. So I really like the uh, grind on this. And once again, that's one of the benefits of So <clears throat> again, we'll talk about that because if you've got that curved blade and you're chopping, it's almost like having a uh, thicker blade because you can rock it and it's not sticking right to the center. So that's the benefit. However, sometimes you have to take a few more swings and I will check that out in another video. But anyway, so let's me go ahead and wrap up. All right. Super happy with this new and Neely axis, but there's a couple of things that we need to discuss if you're thinking about buying one of these. First thing is, it's not gonna come this sharp. You're gonna have to spend a little while sharpening it out. To me, no big deal. Anybody who's buying an ax, you need to know how to sharpen an ax. And um, as you can see, once you get it sharp, fantastic, hard, durable steel. Okay, second thing, the handles are not gonna come looking like this. They're gonna come just pretty much like your standard ax uh, handle. They actually, I believe, do have, uh, they don't just come uh, with the linseed finished. Once again, everybody who uh, really is gonna customize your ax, you're gonna go ahead and sand it up to how you like it and do a little bit of work to it. This one also went ahead and got burnished a little bit um, and gave it kind of that cool look. So, but to wrap up, Fantastic little hatchet, or it's not little, Hudson Bay style design, Snow and Neely Axe, uh, made in, in uh, Maine. Check it out, check out our website, check out our other YouTube videos. Um, we're proud to, to offer these. And I'm really impressed with this ax. I'm gonna wrap it up, but I just, I give it two thumbs up. And um, just remember, you're gonna sharpen it and uh, you'll have years of use. Thanks for watching, ring the bell and subscribe. See you in the next video and God bless.